Welcome back to the 2018 Oregon Disc Golf Championships. Ian Anderson, Ben Baker, Central Coast Disc Golf. We got some round three, part two coverage of our league card. We have a battle brewing with Scott and Jesse, Ben. Yeah, definitely. Jesse has now taken the lead with just 18 holes left, nine on this round, and then a final nine to follow. Uh, pretty impressive. Scott's always a very formidable opponent, and he's on his home courses in Oregon. We'll see how it goes down. Yep. Uh, there is Jesse with that one stroke. Uh, we got a Nathan kicking it back there. He's within striking distance if something wild happens, but it's a kind of a two horse race, like you mentioned. Uh, hole 10, par 4, very gettable if you stay clean off the tee. Yeah, you got the OB in play right, and here comes the weather. I think this is a little bit of hail mixed in with rain. And Jesse, that's getting some flip he doesn't uh -oh, need. That's looking scary. Hugging that OB, and he will find that. Oh my. It's going to be a, a tough up and down. He's pretty far back. Yeah. And Withers, this is the this is what you should do yeah, every time. Probably a nice correction off of Jesse for, you know, two yeah. things. One, he doesn't want to go a B, and two, he's probably chomping at the bit to try to get a share of that lead back. Mm -hmm. And I, I like leaving it out wide like that. It gives him a great angle of the basket. You can for, throw a forehand or a backhand. Absolutely. Um, yeah. If you're pinched, you're pretty much throwing forehand. Oh, no. I'm sure he was not going for the cut roller. Oh, no. Bit of a thriller situation. Yeah. Sean Kirk, who's been throwing this hole beautifully, Look at that throws line. another mesh. That's a gem. That is. Wow. Well done. Oh, that was. Uh, Nathan, after the OB drive, looking at his second, or sorry, third with the OB stroke. Can he save a four? That's going to be tough from there. He's probably looking at a five. Boy, whatever he's ripping is really overstable. I mean, he put mm -hmm. a lot of turn on that, and it still came back, but uh, he's got a lot of work left. Oh, Jesse gets some good ground Trickle play. Trickle roll, and I think he got safely around that corner. Might have a chance to save his par. Yeah. Oh, Withers looks like his Nova again. Yeah, come to think of it, this could be an easy two-stroke swing if Jesse isn't able to put that put that putt home. Sure. And Sean, after that beautiful drive, a little to be desired on the upshot, a little a little far to the right, but it'll putt. All right. Nathan for par. What a bid. He's had some great bids this round. Yeah, he's a great putter. So is Jesse that Jesse does sink. It looks like he, well, that's hard to say because he was just outside the OB line. He could have been just taking a meter in. Uh, oh, you're right. We'll see when we get to the scores here. Yeah. Ooh, Sean a little bit short right. Uh, Nathan, this is going to be for five. Cleans up nicely. And Scott, watching everybody else struggle around him, will take, uh, take his three and get us some strokes. Absolutely. So that's either a share of the lead or the absolute read. Mm-hmm. As Sean comes back for his par, I'm sure disappointing after the drive, but could be worse. Yeah. Let's see what we got working here. Yep, that was a par save from Jesse. So we have a tie ball game. They're both at 16 down. Uh, Nathan falling back a little bit as we head into hole 11. Hole 11, uh, forehand special here, just out over the water, cut back inside. And there's also a sort of backhand putter type shot. Maybe go just right of that tree on the right side that's guarding the basket. Can we go back to the weather in the, uh, in the whole preview picture? <laughs> right? <laughs> <This looks> horrible. <laughs> oh, man. That shot is not horrible, though. No. Scott. Boy, unfazed. Wow, slippery tee pad, rain dumping, doesn't care. No way, yeah. Pressure's on Jesse now to keep pace. Oh, he hits that tree. That's going to leave him a long putt. Yeah, I don't know if it hurt him that much, though. Yeah, I, I mean, wonder. he was going to end up further right. But yeah. I think he would have gotten a little closer. Depends on the skip. Uh, Sean wow, what was that? <laughs> Beautiful turnover. And uh, Nathan loves his forehands. Goes to it again. This looks pretty high. Yeah, that's got to fight through those branches just to get out of the water. And it okay, does. It but he's way short. Here he yeah, is. is. A long look for a bird. Oh, Another the cage, cage hit. Man. Nathan, put one yeah. in. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's teasing it so hard. What was that? Uh, I think it's just to look at those cobwebs. Oh, I thought it looked like a squirrel got caught by some spiders for a Maybe there was something going on in there. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Cannot convert there. <laughs> Just getting out of the rain. Man, it's dumping. There is Nathan cleaning up his par. I think it was just actually an attempt to show how much it's really coming down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotcha. 
And there is Sean with a really nice birdie after a beautiful turnover drive. Uh, Scott threw it the other way, but still, same result. A birdie for him, too. Boy, these guys are just getting fully drenched here. Uh, Scott just That's took the lead, though, I believe. Yeah, a, right there. Jesse will be throwing in a par here eventually. Mm. Right. Came a little bit short on that drive. Yeah. Yeah, it was that tree kick. I mean, I, yeah, that's I, right. I think he would have probably been looking at at least a 20-footer, but that that would have been better. Yeah, he would have got deeper, but also more right. Yeah. So, yeah, you wonder how that would have worked out. Uh, but how it did work out is Scott cards a two, takes a stroke from Jesse, sole possession of the lead as we head into 12. Yeah, there's a scary thought, Scott taking the lead. Uh, right here, skinny shot. You don't really want to mess around with that OB left, which usually forces players, if they're throwing the forehand, to take a skinny line. Scott jumped the gun on me and ended up just a little right there. Yep, they will do yeah. that in the I adverse don't blame them. conditions. Yeah. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Nobody goes through their normal routine anymore. They just run and gun. Yeah. Sean Kirk. Oh, my gosh. How about just those touch little turnover shots yes. he's got? Mm -hmm. Aren't those pretty? Yeah. He's got them nailed. <laughs> They're borrowing <laughs> the umbrella. assist from Scott. Yeah. No, he's keeping Jesse's disc dry. What a yeah, guy, Yeah, that's, man. uh, what's the word for that? Good, good, uh, competitor. Sportsmanship. Sportsmanship. Yeah. That's oh, real sportsman. No. Oh, no. Skipping in there, and that Is may or may not be OB. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Look at it. It's going to be a real close one. That one is. Wow. Uh, Nathan. Let's see if he flexes a forehand up there. Going to take his chances Ooh, with that down. tree. That's coming in great, though. Okay. Oh, wow. Great shot from Nate. That sure was. Uh, Withers with a Nova up after the early hit. Nice up shot. That'll, yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. So Jesse. Looks like he was safe, but cannot yeah. convert and get that stroke back. So he will remain one back of Scott, assuming he makes his putt. A great birdie from Sean. And not a bad one from Nathan either. Yeah, I will. Those are, those are great twos, man. This is such a hard hole. Such a tiny tunnel. Yeah. And there is the par from Jesse, the par from Scott. They're still duking it out as it dumps out here at Trojan. Wow. Yeah. As if it wasn't wet enough already. No. Yeah. <laughs> now it's wet in the air, too. Uh, there are those birdies. Really nice from Nathan and Sean. Scott holds on to one stroke over Jesse as we head on to a peninsula hole. Yeah, very tough hole. 430. Long sort of turnover shot available. But for the most part, these guys are going to be laying up, taking an easy three and get that out of it. That is the smart play. Uh, here is Sean with another beautiful, gentle turnover to late fade. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah. He might have a long look. With a little jump putt action. Big forehand mm. from Nate. That looks great, too. Yeah, that's very well played right there. Center cut. Mm -hmm. now you could almost play this as a par four, and <laughs> people wouldn't, wouldn't be too mad. Right. You never see anybody get close. I mean, it's only 430, oh, but, I mean, it's a tough line to get it, there. You're taking your chances with the water if you do that. You sure are. That was another layup from Scott. He'll pitch up and take his par, most likely. And see what Jesse does. Yeah, probably just a layup here. Yeah, no need to do anything or too crazy. Or is yet. it? <laughs> oh <laughs> no, it's no, a know. layup. <laughs> it's a fancy, <laughs> it's a fancy looking layup. A little flex on that baby. I thought he was going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's too smart for that. Maybe he plays like some very smart golf for his age. Definitely. You know, you know, doesn't get too rattled. Now here's a forehand up from him. Especially in these Battle conditions, three. it'd be really easy to get worked up. Oh, sure enough. There is a gator up from Scott. It's pull tapper. Mm -hmm. Sean looking for one of those. Oh, get it. Uh, oh, so close. Little baby curl. Yep. And Nathan, great oh, try. Oh, is he going to do it? that half go. Man, Ooh. Nate's got some putts on him. Oh, he does. He's got those long distance dialed in. They haven't dropped yet, but they've been getting so close. Right. Uh, Jesse with a par it was looks to be a pretty common score on this one. Yeah. Scott dropping in, as will Sean and Nate. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful park, though. Oh, yeah. It really is. I saw this actually in probably three or four different conditions just throughout the weekend, and every one of them was beautiful. <laughs> Even in the rain. So just like, look how lush it yeah. looks. 
Yeah, it's awesome. It's right next to the Columbia River, River right? Uh, like I think so. Yeah, pretty close to it anyway. Yeah. Named after the old Trojan power plant. Mm-hmm. Decommissioned when I was in high school, I want to say. Uh, hole 14 par 3 is a very tough get, Ben. Yeah, definitely. You see a few rollers on this play, but you know if you do that, you're taking your chances with OB. Definitely to the right and even long. Sean? Going with the roller, clears the water, but it's going to come up short. Ooh, oh, maybe fortunate it hit that tree. It was curling right yeah. towards the water. It's got kind of a tough upshot coming up. Yeah. Nathan ripping up that forehand of his. Got a real nice open flex line for the forehand if you've got that shot. Mm -hmm. It is pretty far, though, as yeah. Nathan still does come up short. And most people don't have a 425-foot forehand to begin with, much less around right. some trees. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Uh, Scott throwing a beautiful air roller. It's a pretty oh my. cool looking disc the way it's died. Watching God, it roll. Isn't it? Yeah. Like a ch checker pattern yeah, almost. Yeah. Looks real cool. He's got a jump putt coming for the for the bird. Oh, we got a real yeah, replay here. Here we go. Of Scott. Let's see that again. Threw it almost flat and let the disc do the work, which is what you need to do to get across that water. Yeah, I watched it land at just kind of like a, what's that, 11 o'clock angle. Mm -hmm. Get up and spin, and I like watching that thing spin in slow mo. That is cool. That. Don't get to see that effect in real life. No, not quite that slow. <laughs> <laughs> nope. And yeah, he's gonna have a look for birdie, which would be a real nice get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in Scott range there. I'm sure he's hoping he's just outside the circle. Right. Uh, oh. Yeah. The Jesse with the the good block there. Yeah, I mean he's probably thinking trying to match that last shot, but. Sure. If you're said than done. He's going for it. That's two turned over, though. Yeah, it is. That might need to hit something. Oh, it does catch a little hop. And I, yep, I think he gets caught up by all that. Saved by the brush. Yeah. Nice. Oh, outside here from Sean. That's a what? Wow, what an interesting <laughs> shot. <laughs> is this close to the look, or is he still a little bit short? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Here is an up shot from Jesse. That should par... And Nathan, after his forehand, lays up a little bit short. And Scott for a stroke on the card. Oh, he almost gets it. He did. Just a little too much on that baby. Jesse did not lose. Oh, Ooh, that no. was an ugly one. Mm, yeah, maybe came out of the hand a little wet. Yep, held on the finger or something. That was weird. Just these kind of conditions, you're, you're constantly with the towel. Right? Oh, sure. And mm -hmm. what just gets more wet than your putter? Yep. And you're not really going through your normal routine all the time because you're doing something weird with the towel. Yeah. You know, gets you out of your zone. Uh, nice to see Jesse hit that one, though, but he will lose a stroke to Scott. Yeah. And drop back a little bit. Uh, there is Sean cleaning up. Nicely done from him. And checking out your scores. There is Jesse dropping back with that bogey. Even Scott, a little cushion. You don't want to give Scott a cushion, though. Definitely not. Not when you're Jesse. No. No. Uh, let's see if we can get one back on 15. It's another another kind of an island hole, right? Yeah, sort of. You just you don't want to go long into the road, but most people are just going to be checking up into that hillside if they do go long at all. Uh, Sean has the box. The real trick is you don't want to end up behind that tree. So you kind of want to end up on the short side, but you don't want to be short enough to be in the water. <laughs> Very true. Uh, beautiful drive from uh, Sean right there. Nate got over on that one a little too much, it looks like. He might find himself behind that tree. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I think he might have stayed on the right side of it or okay. left side looking from the tee. Correct side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is Scott. Oh, nice shot. And Jesse likes the forehand play. I do too. I mean, something like a Firebird, you can just kind of run along the fairway without taking your chances. Yeah. He's got a putt for the two. Oh, yeah. but yeah, it did not pay off. No, he needed that one. He's going to be losing another stroke to Scott. I understand those struggles. I mean, I would do the same thing in the situation because I love my forehands off the tee. But... If you're a really good putter thrower, then what else are you going to do here? You, you should be putting this in the circle every time. Yeah, you, you've got to. And the nice thing about a putter is it's going to sit nicely on like a Firebird, which 
get a little, little ground action. Yeah, I mean, if you throw that Firebird and you end up short, there's a very good chance of skipping in the water. Yeah, totally. Uh, there's everybody else card and birds as Jesse loses a stroke to the card, and Scott's lead opened up all of a sudden. It is now three strokes. Yeah, he's running away with it. it sure is. Let's see if Jesse tries to do something about it. It's going to be easier said than done on 16, though. This could definitely be a game changer. Although it's a par three, this hole is ridiculous. I mean, you're not going to see a two, but very good chance of fours and fives. You just got to keep in the middle and hopefully stay out of trouble. Here is Sean with another beaut. That was great. Yeah, fantastic shot. Wow. Just a, just the slightest drifted right the whole time. Really cool to watch. Nathan, it's a good pull too. Wow, also unleashing a great shot. Oh, but it does yeah. fade a little left there. He might be stuck behind a tree. Yeah. Scott getting a little like razzed by something there on the left. I wonder. Could have been a car. You got that highway right there. Piping it up the middle, staying clean. Hopefully this stays in the fairway. Kick out. Nope. A little tougher up than he planned for. Jesse. And that's I don't, looking too far oh. left. Could be trouble. Yeah. Oh, oh man, this is going to be a really tough par save. Oh, boy. And you get too crazy, you could end up in the water. Oh, he kicks oh off that branch gosh. and just gets knocked down. That was a friendly kick. Yeah. And he should be able to check up nicely, take his four, which is really not too bad on this hole. But no, Scott looking to take a three here and another stroke on Jesse. All of a sudden, it's, he's going to end up with a four-stroke lead after this one. Wow. Oh, man, it was so close. And then all of a sudden, he's just, yeah, taking off. Mm hmm So close for so long. Right. Well, uh, Sean, after a beautiful drive, I would take that every single time if offered. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I think for a good, what, probably 27 holes or more, Scott yeah. and Jesse probably were never more than a stroke or two apart. Yeah. And it has just opened up in a hurry. As Scott cleans up at par, which is a great score in this hole, as does Sean. Nathan dropping in. And uh, Jesse with that bogey. Losing a stroke to Scott. That lead is now four. And uh, Nathan might even be able to chase him down in the final nine if he doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't start dropping some birds right, here. Right, it's within reach. Mm -hmm. And this one is a beast as well. Yeah, this will be the finishing hole on the final nine, uh, hole 18 of the regular course. Just throwing a nice little pitch up to the landing zone and then playing over the water from there. Uh -oh. oh, man, maybe it's not such a little pitch. Did that work? I think he mm, caught that high grass. Hard to say. Okay, that's going to be some interesting footing for a very important second shot on this hole. All right. I like this play from Nathan. Yep, good play. Right where you need to be. Let's see how much Scott bites off here. Looks to be going mid. Yeah. It's like just a rock. All right. That's just something you want to control. And just really stay in that ideal landing zone. Don't get too close to the water. But don't really go right. too far right either. Jesse loves his forehands. This one's going to work. It's got to come back. And it does. Okay. Played a little close to the water, though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you'd rather be over there if you could. Gives you a little wider angle on the corner. There is Sean speaking of the corner. Oop. And should check up safely, yeah. Okay. Man, this second shot is so tough. Nathan on the forehand. Yeah, there's just so much water in play. And if you go right at all, you could end up deep in that rough. If you're just a foot mm -hmm. or two in there, you're pretty much pitching out. Nathan with a pretty good shot. He's in, in birdie position if he has another great shot. Okay. Scott going backhand, which is so scary with that water, but he trusts it, Yeah, and this is working. He's got something he trusts to turn over, a nice hard line, and he plays yeah. it well. Beautiful shot from him. Jesse going forehand, forehand. Yeah. So work. Great shot. It's going to leave him a little bit more to go, but mm -hmm. nice, easy up there. Uh, Sean is throwing three after finding the bush with his second. Okay. Yeah. Nathan with his third. And yeah, playing the for soft bird. grass well. Yeah, really nice. Jesse likes his forehand ups two. Get over there. Yeah, good shot. A little long? Uh, maybe a little. Okay. 
And Scott, after a beautiful second shot. This looks beautiful as third. well. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Yeah. And it is not easy to get strokes on Scott when he's playing like this. No, he's not letting up now. Not at all. And there is an up from Sean. This fourth, that'll five. Jesse coming back for the birdie. Oh, oh needed that one. He did need that. Yeah. And Nathan with a great birdie. Man, you birdie hole 17. You're, you are just stoked out here. <laughs> Definitely. This is a great bird. Even a par five. It's just, uh, it's a long hole, lots of trouble. Yeah, you, you can't really bite off a ton on most of your shots, you know? They're, they're placement shots. Right. Except for maybe that second one. Yeah, it's just, the second one, just to get over the water is the primary goal. And you kind of, right. if you're off in the rough, at least you clear the water. Sure. And that was Jesse dropping in there. Is Scott getting another stroke? All of a sudden, mm. five stroke lead. And now Jesse's closer to third than he is to first. Wow. All right. Withers doing Withers things as we headed to hole 18. Hole 18, hole one of the regular course. Uh, you just want to put one out there. Kind of give yourself an ideal landing zone to play up over the water onto that peninsula. And hopefully give yourself a nice look for the birdie three. Nathan Ryan on the box. Playing that hyzer to the landing zone. This looks really good. Stay off that path. Okay. Be fine. Yeah. Withers. Looks like his gator. Boy, really, he's ripping a gator here. It's a good throw. Might be something faster, but... No, I believe looks it. Like that, looks like that color glow gator, right? Yeah, I think he's just trying to yeah. put himself in an ideal position. Not really too worried mm -hmm. about throwing it far. Yeah, sure. Uh, this looks great from Sean. Yeah. Oh, that'll play. And let's see where Jesse puts this thing. Nice, big, high, wide hyzer. Playing it very safe. And should find himself in good position. Look at it, Sean's second shot, trying to get to this peninsula green. It is not very deep. It's very wide, though. Oh, oh wow. Flashing it for the two. Man, that would have been a fun way to finish. Oh, yeah. Jesse looks pretty good, too. Another great shot. Oh, my. Wow. Another eagle run. Spotter approved throw right there. Absolutely. I don't know if you caught that solid golf clap. <laughs> Withers, a little bit pinched. Um, but still works for the hyzer. And another great shot. A little bit left, mm -hmm. but uh, he's got his putt for three. And Nathan for a pretty similar spot. Having to go pretty wide, but he does so with ease. And another great shot. Jeez, these guys make this all look so easy. It's it really not. not. <laughs> yeah, that d distance control is so tough. Yeah. And half the time it's blind. Ooh, Scott, yeah. good putt. Yeah, you're right about the blind thing. That Obviously, adds the difficulty of the hole. Yeah. And Sean for a three. Looks like we're looking at a star frame to finish here. Could be. Very impressive one. Just lead card things. Right. Here is Jesse. Keep the Scott's lead at five going into the final nine. Good hit from him. Yeah. And Nathan will be doing the same. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. That wasn't genuine, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> and how about that beautiful mountain range? That's just yeah. looks great out there. They shot a three down at Trojan. That's good. Yeah. Be happy about oh, yeah. that, Nate. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Scott ripping off that six, and he is going to have a five-stroke lead going into our final nine. And how about that? We got the same four coming back for the final nine. Doing just enough to hold off the rest. Andrew Rich coming in at fifth. And there's this commercial. Thanks again, Andrew there's Rich, for your uh, contribution. Yeah. What a guy. All right, guys. That's all we got for round three. Catch you in the final nine. See you there. So do I dare to look? Okay. Whew.